alternative, I'm William Cook. Massive deal right here. We have the lead single from Everything Everything. They've got a new upcoming album coming out here. Their new album, Raw Data Feel, due out May 20th. And we got the lead single, Bad Friday. Everything Everything, UK band, alternative band. It's got some weird stuff, stuff that's gone a bit over my head but some of the greatest songs that I've ever heard also. One thing I've noticed, I make my top 100 songs of the year since 2014, I've been doing that. And they're the only band that has managed to make the top 10 of my year every year they release an album. What I'm trying to say there is that 2015, Get to Heaven, their song Regret was in my top 10. But did you Their next album, 2017's A Fever Dream, the song Good Shot, Good Soldier was my number one song of the year. Then their last album, Reanimator from 2020, gave me In Bird Song, which was my number 10 song of the year. So their past three albums have all given me a top 10 song of the year. And there's not any other band I can say that about. And yeah, Everything Everything has some stuff that, yeah, it's just a little bit out there for me, I guess. Not quite hitting me in the right spot, but when they make it work for me, it comes through unlike many other bands. And I'm so happy to see that they're back two years after their last album, ready to go with a new one. They've been keeping busy and this is it, the lead single. So without further ado, let's jump on in. Everything, everything, Bad Friday. What you got? Guess I should put these on, huh? Their vocalist is one of a kind. I don't even know, man. This video is quite beautiful, huh? Huh. <laughs> I'm trying to put together my thoughts here, man. I'm liking it. Huh. 
noticing the guy what trying to get into some club there and they had to do the temperature check on his forehead it looked like whoops all right let's just let's watch her again so that's a thing with everything everything they're not always the instant gratification band they do take a little time and that's okay that's okay this song here had a good catchy kind of wordplay to it fast delivery from our vocalist john nathan higgins i believe is the lead singer's name they are good at subtlety in a way right the bass coming in there and the guitar work it's all pretty subtle i'm listening to the new alt j album here as i film this and this kind of reminds me a little bit of what you get from alt j a fellow uk alternative band everything everything definitely is known for being quirky being a bit weird like i said man why for as many songs that come through for me with that absolute amazing euphoria and just hit me right in the spot there's at least that many saw of songs that don't quite connect with me right and it's pretty fascinating about a band like this that really can manage to hit me unlike most other bands but at the same time they'll have plenty of songs that i'm just like ah oh, sorry you guys not really for me this song it's not like it's not for me but it isn't quite like a lot of the music I listen to that has that big, oh, there we go, right off the bat, I'm, I'm really loving that big energetic chorus. It takes a little time and they have a little more subtlety to them. I think everything, everything, you've got to be very appreciative of the vocals and I think that's a big characteristic of their sound. But they're also just really good with their synths and their keys and their their, you know, their drum work and the bass and the guitar, all the instrumentation in the band, I find it's calculated. They know where to put things to make it all work together. And at the end of it all, really, it just comes down to Jonathan Higgins, the, the vocalist, really with his quick-lipped delivery there. I guess after a first listen, it's 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 that that I, I I grab onto the most. And yeah, I guess I could say, you know, after this first listen, I'm not I'm not wowed by it. It wasn't a wow of a song. I think the video was fabulously done, but the uh, feeling didn't really come through there for me. In Bird Song was my big one off their last album. There was a few off that album that I really enjoyed. Big Climb, The Actor. And this song just didn't quite tick off the boxes that those songs held for me. You know, I was saying a while ago, and I forgot to do this with my past couple of reactions, but, you know, I wanted to try and get into rating my songs off of my first reaction. I have a four-point rating scale, four being the best, and two being okay, one being do not like. And uh, 2.5 gets the pretty good, and I feel like this falls at the 2.5 level. A pretty good track, needs a bit more time with me, uh, but I, I just don't feel like I'm gonna pull too much emotion out of it with the uh, continued listens. Impressive, but not quite impactful. But we have got the new album from them, Raw Data Feel, May 20th. You know, at this point, they've got me dependent on them for at least one big standout off of their album. So we will we'll see what they got coming for us. Everything, everything, great to have you back. Thank you. And thank you for checking this out. Love a thumbs up if you like what you saw. Hit the subscribe for more alternative content. And leave your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know what you thought of the latest from Everything, Everything. Love to chat. I'll see you next time.